Bright suns, travelers! Greetings from the Closet Historian, your source for fantastic fulcrum-ready fashion. Coming to you today from our new home in the Outer Rim, ready and rearing to inspire your resounding resistance with rebel-ready ensembles fit for ending this empire. Beginning with this nondescript pairing of hardy twill jacket and high-waisted trousers. With tall boots, forever quick getaways make like a true scoundrel and keep a blaster handy too with a hip-side holster. While lying low on Adelon for a few weeks after that rather rousing rebellion on Rishi, don something deliberately casual for enjoying this downtime while avoiding detection even amongst these fellow rebels. Cotton Twill proves both comfortable and practical for days spent helping out there charting the region, but remember you can't stay long if you want to maintain the cautious safety of full anonymity. Ah, finally back in your own clothes for once, free from any Imperial lies out in the most remote systems of the ever-reaching Outer Rim. It's essential you find another Jedi Temple to seek the knowledge you'll need in best assisting the Rebellion from the shadows. So perhaps don your robes and look the part for once while you can. But back in the spaceport, play the part of a pirate, but a profitable one in an embroidered jacket and fine woolen trousers. Loosen the look with your trusty boots and a soft crossover knit top for keeping away the creeping chill once your shuttle reaches Atmo. You'll be jumping to light speed before the Imperials even begin to realize they should have been taking a much closer look at your manifest. Meeting a contact in an enemy-controlled sector requires contrasting color combinations befitting the upcoming Empire Day celebrations. Every spy knows a single Meiluron rind can stain a whole linen frock crimson for fully disguised patriotism in a pinch. And the layers of knits underneath keep you warm too if things turn ugly and you end up on the rooftops to escape. Undercover again, but this time playing public relations assistant to a true Slimo at the Mining Guild. No one will suspect you're really there to slip a shipment of fuel right out from under them in this sleek star print pencil dress. Pin on a golden star brooch for a little more shine, despite the fact that your rebel cell is still too skint to pick up the much-needed coaxium any way other than pinching it. While lying low on Lothal, try layering mysterious black rayon to avoid detection stuck in the shadows. Blending into the back streets is simpler than it should be in this old robe from your Padawan days, since most bucket heads don't know temple garb from torn tarps anyhow. Downright devilishly chic for sticking those detonators onto their cargo before it's taken back up onto that destroyer above, and perfectly comfortable too for watching the ensuing fireworks from your balcony hideout later. For something a bit more inquisitorial, since it's not like the Imperials have them all memorized, feel free to force push your way through an entire blockade in yet more deadly draped rayon. Thick knit leggings and tall boots keep you mercifully mobile for monitoring the Empire's move on the local resistance from the inside. Your sinister anonymity leaves you perfectly poised to pry all of their data onto a card before overloading their comm systems and running off with a nice new speeder bike from the fully stocked loading bay. But for investigating those infernal inquisitors instead yourself, perhaps stick with the classics. Sleek cotton sateen with a subtle stretch allows you to slink on board shuttles with ease amongst other Imperial staffers. But while black may blend in, the turnback collar in true white shows your real relation to the power of the Force. Impersonating an Imperial officer is a high-grade offense, but it's not like that's ever stopped you before. Steel secrets and hearts in slim black trousers and a winning wool vest over a billowy rayon blouse, and swashbuckle your way out of Sky Strike Academy with all the intel you could ever desire. Do perhaps consider selling it to Phoenix Squadron this time, though, instead of just handing it over. They're getting suspicious after that slip-up on Sullust.
Duping slow stormtroopers into another devious deception has never been easier when you begin to blend in. Pair a crisp white gown with all black accessories and catch the Empire's most elite trooper's eye as your friends slip past patrols behind them, while the squad captain's quite disastrously distracted. But when it's truly time to entertain, try a travel-ready knit gown paired with a matching turtleneck underneath, too. After all, space travel does get so chilly, and you just never know when you may be jumping from dinner around Dagobah to disaster above Dathomir without a minute spare to change. Or for impersonating a galactic senator's attaché, sometimes only the finest of frippery will do. Don a sweeping formal circle skirt in classic black, but top the business-like skirt with an embellished beaded bolero to distract from your often less elegant mannerisms. One only has so much time to study each planet's decorum before slipping into an emergency senate session. But for possibly the most perilous mission you've ever agreed to help out with, it's a galaxy's worth of sequins on lightest diaphanous tool posing as a degenerate gambler's date at the Canto Bite Opera House's epic opening night. Deluding delegates and double-dealing delinquents alike, a subtle force push to the lock on the presiding moth's double deluxe box seat door means his dozens of guards will be unable to assist when things go profoundly pear-shaped for the perpetually perplexed during the performance downstairs. Do try your best not to tear the tool when rushing out onto the balcony later for your Railside 44 scoop getaway. And that's all from us here at TCH Cinema today. Till the spire, my friends, and may the Force be with you.